gonna be rusty. <laughs> <clears throat> Hi everyone, I'm Felicia. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> um, today I'm going to do a unboxing of a new Brandon Blackwood bag I got. I'm really excited to unbox this and I'm going to do quite a few unboxings um, this next month or so because it's fashion week and I am a magazine editor and I need to prepare. Um, so here we go. <laughs> So this is a Brandon Blackwood Jumbo Quay. I'm looking because it usually has the name on it. Yeah, this is the Brandon Blackwood Jumbo Quay in the premium smooth vegan leather. I was looking at this, um, this bag and the Croc leather bag that they have. And I decided on this one just because it's like a classic black leather look and because, um, the croc leather or the lizard leather whatever they were calling it was four hundred dollars and this bag was 385 a little bit of a savings even even though this is a luxury purchase um and i needed a work bag i'm um working two jobs so i am an a hr manager full-time and i am a magazine editor part-time with a really amazing magazine which i'll link down below probably um so I need to have my laptop and my iPad on me at all times and I needed a big work bag. If you've watched this channel before, you've probably seen me mention I really, really wanted the Givenchy Antigona, but something about it is just like not speaking to me right now, like at this point in my life, which is so funny because I've wanted that bag since I was in like high school. Um, I don't know, we'll get back to it, we'll see. But anyways, let's get back to Brandon Blackwood. Brandon Blackwood is a black owned brand um amazing bags i have one of their esr totes and systemic racism which got a lot of backlash on twitter don't really care the beautiful bags um and this is my second bag from them i'm also really liking their bamboo card holder so we'll see if i get that or if my husband gets it for me for valentine's day Ooh. um so it comes in a drawstring dust bag which is amazing because it's a good size bag and even though it's faux leather i just want to be careful not to scratch it up um and it comes in this beautiful huge um box i really like i really like boxes i don't know what it is i really love containers i love boxes i love jars and so when a luxury purchase comes in a new box i'm like yes i'm in love with it um so they had it they shipped it in a big old ups box and then this was inside so it's protected um with of course wrapping paper and what is this this is my receipt oh throw away i hate receipts um this is the jumbo size they do have an a larger size i forget what it's called but i'll link it down below and they have it in like this beautiful shirling that they just release um it's seriously amazing so anybody who needs like luggage that's perfect um so here's what the jumbo looks like oh so beautiful i'm in love with that um so this part here that you see unzipped it zips up and closes and it's got like that beautiful silver hardware see that's what the bag looks like oh so gorgeous but also um this is an expander so when you unzip it when you unzip it <laughs> and then expand the sides it makes more room in the bag so that you can put your laptops and stuff in there. I have a MacBook Pro 13 something, 13 inch or something like that. And to fit a MacBook Pro in here, you would just have to pull the expander from the side and slip it in there. And it also has a magnetic closure so that your valuables are secure inside. It comes with a strap. I never use straps on big bags like these because it makes me feel like a grandma, but you know, for anybody who wants to. Um, and it has a zippered pocket on the inside. I'm always bad at getting like this angle. There we go. It has that zippered pocket on the inside, which is, looks like big enough to fit a phone. Here, let me put my work phone in here. <clears throat> yeah, big enough to fit a phone. Nice, nice and handy. Um, so yeah, I have not taken the handle protectors off yet, so I guess I'll go ahead and do that. Imagine I just like left that on, like I was just walking around fashion like, like this is my new Blackwood. Um, so let's take it off. I'm not a gentle person, it's so 
don't watch my channel if you're here for gentle <laughs> um so this is what it looks like it has the stoppers on the base which is really good because i don't put my bag on the floor but for people who put their bag on the floor that's good i don't do that um but i like this because if i put my bag like on a table or anything it's not gonna touch any surfaces i might just leave those little plastic nubs on like they're metal they're metal caps underneath but still i have to learn what those things are i have way too many bags to not know what these are called um anyways and then this is what the back looks like i really like the back even with the like extender pouch here i think it's really beautiful um so this is my beautiful brandon blackwood jumbo quay i know this is called the quay but i'm naming her stefania because she gives me like expensive lawyer like this bag is like what annalise keating sets down when she comes into the room she like you know she stomps in like she always does with her sensible shoe and she's like let's get down to business like annalise <laughs> this should be the Annalise bag um but this is beautiful it does fit a laptop um let me just go get the laptop so I can show you BRB BRB okay so I got my laptop and then this is an apple household dad and so I'm gonna grab my ipad which is missing Where's my iPad? Where's my iPad? <laughs> Luna, what did you do with my iPad? Naughty cat, naughty cat. Oh. I know where it is. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so we're back and we're better than ever. So, Jumbo Quay, unzip it. Zoop, zoop. Okay, pull the expander out. Ooh, expand. Ooh, girl, I didn't know this thing could come all the way out. <laughs> pull the expander out, open it up. First things first, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. First things first, put the iPad in. I mean, girl, put the laptop in. See, fits a laptop, completely fits in there. And I'll even put my iPad in there just to show you guys how spacious it is. Okay, so that's got my, oh, Jesus Christ, it's heavy. Um, that's got my laptop in there and my iPad. There you go and it still closes up securely and still holds its structure that's one thing about a vegan leather faux leather bag you got to be sure it holds its structure because some of them girls i'm not going to say any brand names have been looking a bit saggy in use there you go gorgeous 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 girls carry jumbo quay brandon blackwood bags beautiful <laughs> Um, so that's about it. Um, oh, let me show you it on the forearm. See, get the bougie arm. She's giving what was said. Where's my briefing? Where's my files? I love a good professional bag. Um, so this is perfect. I'm really excited to carry this. It holds everything I need plus more. Like right now it has the iPad, the work laptop, the work phone. I could probably fit my actual phone in there and there's oh there's like an even deeper pouch for like keys and stuff that's a hidden pouch i didn't even know that was there um and you can probably fit like snacks in here snacks keys everything oh so beautiful i'm in love i'm in love i'm in love so this is the jumbo quay by brandon blackwood if you're looking to purchase this bag especially for work i would definitely suggest it i have not worn this out in the wild yet so if i need to do a follow-up review to update you all on how it holds up i will i'm happy to um next up <laughs> i hate what i hate to say what's next up on my channel because i can never do a consistent video schedule because my life is just constantly changing i mean you guys have experienced a pandemic just constantly changing um but next up on my channel i am going to try on and review the fendi f frame boots i've literally wanted those boots for like 
two years now ever since I saw them on the runway and I finally found them on one of these trustworthy retail sites resale sites because some of these resale sites you cannot trust um and I will be doing a final apartment tour here in this apartment some of you have been on the channel before had, saw the original apartment tour um when I first moved here three years ago so crazy my life has completely changed now um and I will do a new apartment tour when I move next month um, and maybe some thrift hauls. I just want to keep you guys updated on what to expect from this channel because I have been on YouTube for like 10 years now, which is crazy on and off like 10 years now and my channel is always changing. So that's what you can expect. You can expect to see black owned brands for me. You can expect to see luxury unboxings. You can expect to see apartment tours. I don't vlog. I hate vlogging. I really hate vlogging. You can maybe catch me doing a mini vlog on TikTok, but I really hate vlogging. Um, and maybe some thrift hauls. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep you guys updated. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Sure. Enjoy. Thank you for watching. Bye.